new company alert. We've got our first brand new company here for 2024. We've got Dead Man's Beard Co. out of upstate New York. And I've got a ton of things to go over with you guys. I've got just about uh, everything they offer. I've got 11 different beard oils, two balms, two butters, a mustache wax, a daily beard wash, and uh, this swag hat here that I'm going to be rocking the rest of the video. But first, welcome guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And Bryant, with a T, is the owner. And I read the origin stories on the... Um, uh, website and it started off like some, several other companies I know they kind of started selling locally uh, in fact this one was at a barber shop there in upstate New York and they got a good uh, response from them and now they've expanded their offerings to the online bearded community and that's kind of why I'm here to help spread the word for them and happy to do that um, so you can get the one ounce oil or two ounce butter or two ounce balm for $19.99 you can get an eight ounce wash for $19.99 and then you can get a mustache wax for $9.99 and let me talk about the uh, probably my favorite out product out of these is this daily beard wash. Really good option if you're looking for a daily beard wash. Does not overstrip your beard. A little goes a long way. You get a nice, uh, lots of uh, suds there. I love the suds explosion. Um, nothing in here that's harmful. Uh, for you and you actually get some carrier oils and butters and those kind of things in here as well but your beard does feel nice and dry and clean uh, when you get finished uh, with it doesn't feel oily or anything like that all right so really good beard wash uh, the oil blend is almost a drop the mic kind of carrier oil blend. It is argan, jojoba, baobab, broccoli seed, uh, emu, meadow foam, avocado, castor, rice bran, and black seed. Uh, so that is a really strong list of carriers there. So all good things for your beard. Um, as far as softness goes, the softness was not, uh, didn't blow me down like I thought it would. Uh, so, but it does make my beard feel uh, nice and thick and um, substantial. Let me see if I can find the right adjectives uh, to go with that. It does feel uh, hydrated all day, long lasting uh, on that. So if you're looking for uh, beard to make uh, something to make your beard feel nice and full and thick, long lasting healthiness, conditioned all day, uh, this will be right up your alley. Uh, for me, the softness factor did not just blow me down like I thought it might when I saw the carrier blend. Uh, maybe it's just my beard. Uh, anyway, the butter and the um, balm is kind of the same thing as far as uh, the butter's a little bit on the thicker side. So it's got shea and mango butter, coconut oil, and then the carrier blend. Uh, so it's a little bit on the thicker side. It's easy to work with, uh, but this one's a good daytime styling butter. Obviously it works well at night as well, but, uh, but if you're one that like, you don't want to use balm, you want to use your butter in the daytime, give you a little bit of style, this butter's going to uh, do very well for you. Uh, and then if you want to uh, uh, knock that up, uh, step it up another notch, you can get the balm, which has got bees wax added in it as well and it is on the medium to maybe just a little bit on the upper side of a medium uh, with the balm uh, it's still not too difficult to work with uh, all of that stuff all right Mustache wax. Don't let me forget the mustache wax. So there's a really good mustache wax as well. I've actually started using that again. I got the big separate mustache. Used the mustache wax this morning. In fact, I used oil and butter, uh, and then I used some mustache wax uh, there. Uh, and then that was 10 hours ago. Everything's still looking pretty good there. So keeps everything in place uh, on that. Uh, mustache wax is on the firmer side, so it is a little harder to work with. They give you a pick, but the pick's actually not a high enough gauge to, to get this out it's too flimsy um, so I can get it to work but I just use my thumbnails anyway most of the time I, I usually throw the picks away uh, I've got a ton of them over here but a higher gauge pick on that wouldn't 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 help get it out a little bit easier uh, anybody else use a mustache wax these days this one's a good one uh, to use for sure. All right, let's get into these scents. They've got like a main line, and then recently they've uh, started their um, essential and absolute uh, one that they use for their fragrances. Um, so let me go through the uh, kind of the original line. I think that's what you would call this one. But we've got uh, a night out cologne, all right, which is aquatic cologne, floral notes, and crisp rainfall. All right. And that's exactly what you get out of it. The floral is not overly floral, but you do get the, the aquatic and the rainfall idea. And then you get a, a little bit of the floral and a little bit of the bergamot, which kind of makes it a little bit more of a, a citrus note to go with it just a little bit. Uh, but that's a really good one. Uh, next up is the Fresh Forest 
which is fresh pine, rich 100% oud essential oil, which is expensive, fresh bergamot, and sandalwood. So this one is one I've got in uh, both butter and balm as well. And if you like woodsy scents, you definitely have to have this one. Uh, this one, uh, I really like woodsy scent. So this one's a uh, kind of pine is the main player in it, but you get all the other stuff in it as well. So if you like a nice pine woodsy scent, uh, you definitely want to try out the fresh forest. All right, next up, we've got spiced rum, which is a good blend here as well. So the spiced rum uh, is spiced rum, surprise, surprise, orange peel and a hint of vanilla. And the spiced rum is kind of like a bay rum. Those, if you tried some of the old, if you tried a barbershop scents, that old fashioned bay rum kind of barbershop, you kind of get that, but you definitely get a little bit of orange peel. And then the hint of vanilla comes after some of the spiciness from the, the rum goes away and you get a little bit more of a smoothed out vanilla on the end. That one's pretty well blended there's not overly sweet uh, it's more a little bit more on the savory side with the uh, the spice kind of bay rum kind of idea on that one all right next up we've got cherry stogie which is Cuban tobacco touch of cherry and tonka bean and it's not overly tobacco y if that's a word I'm going to call it a word um, you do get the tobacco uh, on it, but it's not, it's more of a, a Cuban, it's a little bit spicy, but not overly spicy. So this one's a, kind of a blend, I would say, between a Cuban and with the cherry in it, kind of makes it a little bit more like a, uh, like a pipe tobacco and then not too much on the Tonka bean, but it's there uh, to give you a little bit of that vanilla kind of uh, treat to it. All right, next up, we've got Fireside Forest. Where's my smoke people in here? Fresh pine, cedar wood, which I love and which is, uh, you know, similar to the other scent. But now you get that touch of campfire smoke and bergamot to go in there. So you definitely get the uh, the perfect amount of smoke. You like pine and smoke and cedar. Uh, that, that would be one that's right up your alley. And I like that one as well. I don't like this, this, the uh, campfire smoke all the time, but certain occasions I definitely like it. And uh, one that actually uh, kind of surprised me, I like it a lot more than I thought I would, it's called Psychedelic Elixir, Fruity Rings of Cereal, and uh, Rich uh, Vanilla Cake Batter. So it's super, it's like the sweet scent with fruit, it's Fruit Loops and Cake Batter is really what it is. And that's what you get when you smell it, uh, but it works really, really well. I like it. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to why I like something. I just do. Uh, so that one's uh, really cool there if you're interested in a Fruit Loops kind of idea. All right. Next up I might be my favorite scent here. This is another one I, that I'm glad to have in oil and balm and butter because uh, we can wear the butter at night. But it's called Refresh. And that one is lime and lemon and peppermint. And it's just about a third, a third, a third is what I get out of it. So lime, lemon, and then you get that mint with it. Um, works are super good all right so um, not a lot to say there what you see is what you get you get about a third lime a uh, third lemon and a third of peppermint uh, works great for the butter at night all right next up we've got renew which is a grapefruit scent, which I love grapefruit. So you get grapefruit and orange and a citrusy something I don't know how to pronounce let's kubiba Maybe I typed that wrong. I don't know. And, and vanilla, but it's not overly vanilla uh, on that. No, and none of these are that have vanilla. The vanilla is not way too strong, except maybe the vanilla cake batter, but that's a little bit of a different animal there. Uh, really good on this one too. So it's grapefruit and orange. You get that citrusy stuff. Citrus and vanilla is what you get with grapefruit standing out a little bit more uh, than the other citruses. All right. All right. On the home stretch here, refine is blood orange hops lemon eucalyptus and peppermint so just a little different spin there once again these are essential or absolute uh scents um used for fragrance this one's got a powdery something to it all right oh i know it's powdery i read the wrong one let me let me grab let me grab the the other one here the one i just said revive I had them out of order yeah, a little interesting there. There's something there that's different uh, to go with the uh, eucalyptus is a little bit different kind of mint, but this has got a little peppermint in it as well. I think it's the hops. So you get the hops and the lemon and then the orange and then the eucalyptus and peppermint. I would be kind of last on if you're like, I don't like peppermint. I don't get tons of peppermint. It's, uh, it's kind of, I think I get the hops and eucalyptus and lemon is kind of the main players on, on that one. Maybe kind of like a lemon hot toddy you might drink if you've got a, a, a sore throat or something like that. A little bit more like a maybe a Ricola kind of cough drop or something maybe. Um, 
Now back to uh, the one I had and I smelled earlier. It's like, wait a minute, I'm smelling the wrong thing. Refine is this one. So Oud, Tonka, Amber, and Rose. And I love the first three. And the Rose for me is not my favorite kind of floral type of scent. So that one kind of makes it a little bit too perfumey for me. Um, but the, I know there's Rose and a whole lot of colognes out there. Uh, but that one for me is, is what kind of turns me off of Refine. And then the last one is Relax. That is Lavender floral, tuberose, and mellow vanilla. And once again, that's your lavender scent. And the floral in this case, this kind of adds to it. Like a lavender's got a natural, because this is a natural lavender, right? Because it's essential oils, which it's got a little bit of a floral note to it anyway, right? I'm not big on lavender scents. So once again, that one, uh, and then the one with the rose on it, I'm kind of out on those two. The rest of them, I kind of like. Uh, some of them I like a little more than others. I like the... Um, lemon lime and peppermint which is refresh uh and then i also for some reason really like the fruit the, uh the fruit loops one psychedelic elixir anyway let me know if you've tried dead man's uh beard coat and which scents you like out of this one uh brian's been working hard there he's got a lot of different things to offer for you guys uh and i know he's got a lot more coming for 2024 so make sure you stay tuned for that and I always appreciate you guys watching we'll see you soon